So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number 13 I believe of the AFC Wimbledon Road to the Champions League and we start off this episode with a cup match against Rotherham. This was in the FA Cup. We were going to try and have a good run in the FA Cup just as we have had or still are having a good run in the Carling Cup. So we started off here with Seb Brown making a very, very good save there to make sure that we um, stayed at 0-0 early on in the game. Um, so I'd like also just to say a great thank you to those that have been supporting this series as you really have done well to manage to give the likes you do, the comments you do, etc, etc. As it, I really do appreciate it. And I love looking at it when it, people leave comments on it. It just gives a great motivation to look at it and to see that people are liking your videos. It's just just lovely. And there you see a nice goal through Lewis Harris in the 12th minute. I decided to play Lewis Harris in this game because he was he had he had gone up 5 overall. And that was quite a nice chip shot over the goalkeeper there while he was on the floor. So we've done well there to keep uh, or to go 1-0 up against Rotherham in the cup. We did then have a good chance, but the keeper made a very good save. We put a good corner in there, but they managed to clear the ball and get it out to safety. Unfortunately, they did get in the box and we had an amazing header away there from Bennett to make sure that the danger went away from the penalty area but they did then get a corner and from the corner they had another good header but we did get our head on it again and it went out for another corner to Rotherham we were trying to get a little bit nervy now from the corners and Seb Brown there with a brilliant double save to make sure that we definitely definitely stayed in it and that was what won us the game pretty much or what kept us in the game I should say and there from the corner once again he comes out and collects the ball which was a very very decent collect and a good double save as well um, they did have some good play here and they did manage to put it in the back of the net through Pringle yep his name is Pringle I just I just don't know what to say that is just an amazing name Pringle anyway he did actually score a good goal and they did get through here but Seb Brown come out to make a or to close down the angle, and they slid it underneath Seb Brown's body, but they did slide it out wide. And um, Seb Brown here takes the goal kick, and we uh, tried to lead up from the back, but nothing came off of that. And we did have a chance for Lucas Piers on here with a good shot, and the keeper makes a very good save. And look at that from Luke Moore to manage to slide along the ground and to knock that in. As you'll see from the replay, I left the replay in so you could see the technique in this. You can see here from the back, look, he went to ground before he even touched the ball. That is just brilliant technique to slide underneath the keeper. And that was it for that game. We did win 1-0 against Rotherham, or 2-1, sorry. We did win 2-1 away at Rotherham in the FA Cup to continue our great run in all cups as we are not out of any of the cups yet. Um, uh, we did get a player injured. Unfortunately, Lucas Pearson, our best player, was out for three weeks. But we... That was a chance to bring in Luke Moore and to try and put someone else up front. But I didn't believe that we had anyone good enough. But we had to make do as injuries are injuries and you can't do anything about the injuries. Uh, we did have a league game up against Rochdale here. Rochdale were comfortably middle table and we also wanted to keep an eye on Wickham. As you see here, we selected Wickham because they Wickham were top. We were around about third at this stage, but we did start to drop down as as we were still in the cup. We, uh, the other teams were starting to play more games than us, so it made us look like we were dropping down the table. But in reality, we wasn't really because of we had two or three games in hand on the other people. So this was an away game to Rochdale. Um, Rochdale, as I said before, a reasonably good side. And we did get a chance here through Merrifield to have a good shot. And the keeper managed to parry it up into the air, which I thought the keeper could have done better. But anyway, he managed to save it and managed not to let it go in. But unfortunately, in the 31st, 31st minute, they did get a goal through Donnelly there with a nice finesse shot into the bottom corner. But we had a nice uh, free ball there to Roman, but Roman's first touch was atrocious to put it out wide. And it wasn't really good enough, to be honest. 
Um, we wasn't playing that well in this game and we did play a nice ball through to Keenan there. We got the ball back and the keeper makes a very, very good save there from the effort from um, Shane Long. But we did get the ball back to Keenan. Keenan in the back of the net uh, with an absolute scorcher. Once again, Keenan saved me and we brought the scoreline back to 1-1 in the 61st minute. And then from there, we decided to go attacking, not ultra-attacking, but attacking to try and push a little bit further up the pitch to try and get a result. And we did go through more here. He got, he got away, he played it out to Merrifield, and Merrifield there with a very poor effort that puts it miles wide. Um, because we did actually decide to play Jolly and Roman up front, um, as you see there, I did go ultra attacking, but it was too late. It was in the 90th minute, and we didn't get anything from that there. And we just gave the ball away there. But Seb Brown done well to come out, but I don't know why he didn't wait and collect the ball there. He just booed outfield, and it went out. But there wouldn't have been time to have a counter attack anyway. So that game did finish 1-1 at Rochdale in the league. So we got only got one point from that. So. It wasn't the worst case scenario. And our next game was up against Gillingham. Gillingham were third in the league at this time. And Gillingham were a very, very good side. And they had quite an attacking formation there with a 4-4-2. Considering the League 2 sides normally have only one up front. But Gillingham did have two up front. Um, so they did. Obviously, that must be the key behind them being right at the top of the table. And Seb Brown here makes a nice save down at his near post early on in the game. But they did get a corner there, but nothing come off of that. And Seb Brown there covered the near post, but it did just go wide. Um, unfortunately, Seb Brown there with some very, very poor um, goalkeeping there. And he passed it straight to Kedwell from the from the goal kick there, which gave them an easy chance. So we didn't could not do anything from that. Uh, we did get a chance here through Kiernan, played it to Raman. Raman there with a good shot, but the keeper, keeper makes a very good save there to push it up into the air, and then their defender kicked it out of play. We did then here um, try and get the ball back, but as you see there, Luke Moore had a very bad injury there, uh, which wasn't very good news for us. It was a dislocated shoulder, as you see there. So... That was our best striker, considering Raman, well, he was still there, but he, he wasn't playing too well. And Lucas Pearson was injured, but we did get a goal back for here through Haynes Brown, and he picked up the ball to try and get us, like, to try and urge the team a little bit forward. And as you see here, that was the end of the game. So another draw, so two draws out of two in the league in this episode. Um, nil nil and 1-1. One, one. So, um... We did get two player injuries. We got Luke Moore with a dislocated shoulder for eight weeks and we got Benita Raman out for three weeks, which was not very good. We're having Lucas Piers on and now Raman out, now Moore out. They're three players that are quite crucial to the team. So we are actually coming to the end of this episode now. So please, please, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe as it really, really does help me out. And... I really hope to see you next time, whatever that episode might be. And also, don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter. So, 